Hello and welcome back. I am Abha Anandita and this is a special episode of Odisha Links where we talk about issues that matter. The easternmost region of the country comprising of 8 states is popularly called the northeastern region of India. The 8 states are Manipur, Assam, Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram, Nagaland, Tripura and Sikkim. Though Sikkim was added later to the group of 7 sisters in the year 2002. People love travelling to northeast for its beautiful mountains and waterfalls. However, most of the times its disaster and events are unnoticed by the mainstream media channels and mainland Indians. As we all know, recently there was the death of an elephant in the state of Kerala and the whole of the country went gaga over it. From politicians to social media activists, actors and actresses, everyone was talking about it. But how many of us are aware of the Bagjan oil field blowout? We are not. Most of us don't know what happened. Yes, it's been 45 days since the oil field blew out and it still continues to spit fire. Recently, Nagaland came into news for importing dog meat. But how many of us are aware the floods that hit Assam almost every year? As we speak, over 13 lakh people have been affected by the floods in Assam across 2015 villages in 24 districts. Dhemaji in Upper Assam and Barpeta in Lower Assam have been worst hit. Also in Arunachal Pradesh, Pasighat and Namsai, which are the low-lying areas, have been flooded. The government sources inform that the tributaries of Brahmaputra River are still expected to rise and flood across Assam. In Arunachal Pradesh, major rivers are flowing above the danger zone. And it's indeed strange that the mainland citizens are not concerned or to be very precise, not aware of the plight of the northeastern countrymen. So far in Assam, 44 people have drowned and died and rest 26 were killed in landslides. Assam and Arunachal Pradesh are fighting these floods along with one of the worst health crises ever. Fighting a pandemic among swirling waters is a whole new challenge for the governments of the respective states. The Indian Meteorological Department has predicted heavy rainfall in the states of Meghalaya, Assam and Arunachal Pradesh and the situation of flood is likely to worsen further. All disaster management teams are put on alert. But at this point, what can be our collective responsibility as mainland Indians? Like we stand in support with Mumbai every year when floods hit, like we stand in support with West Bengal when there's a cyclone, like we stand in support with Delhi when there's an earthquake, it is our collective responsibility to stand with our northeastern brothers and sisters in a difficult time like this. They are battling two very difficult battles and they should not feel left out. The least we can do is donate whatever amount we can and at least be informed.